Hello fellow church members. I came on here because I just had to make a video because I am so heartbroken and it has been several days since Bishop T.D. Jakes came forward and said his response to the allegations which was just horrible, disheartening. Um, I have been searching the internet looking for someone who will just speak out we're supposed to be one of the number one Christian countries, and I can't really find people who are really speaking out. Um, there's a lot of people that are doing journalism and speaking on the issue, but I'm talking about the real big Christian leaders in this country. You would think they would be outraged. You would think they would be heartbroken. You would think there would be a press conference about it. I mean, this is huge. This is the number one most powerful, strongest black Christian leader of our time. And he's making jokes about being a power bottom at Puffy's parties. Talking about how can this be true if I'm 66? Maybe if I was 36, but I'm 66. What are you talking about? What are you talking I am heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. I can't even, I can't even say it. You know, I'm of a certain age where he has, I mean, I bought the books. We watched the shows. He had his own talk show. That's when it was a little, you know, then he started putting out movies. That's when it was a little, but I mean, prior to all of that, I mean, this man has done almost crusades. You know, people have moved to Texas because of him. People have moved there to be a part of his, his, his church. People have come to all his women that are loose. I mean, I just can't even speak on it. I know that gifts come without repentance, and Lord knows he's very a gift, very gifted man. But my thing is, you are you were willing to risk it all, and you're could possibly lead millions astray, hundreds of thousands of people astray, young people astray. I mean, his daughter has taken over for him, and. What is Woman Evolved is huge right now with young people. And this is your response? Even if it's true, I could just say I'm sorry. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, what are you really talking about? You can see the embarrassment on his daughter's face. I mean, the rest of them, I know they were trying to be supportive, but you can see the embarrassment on her face. Probably because, like they said, her ministry is piggybacked on his. So, bruh, what you say and what you do and the looseness of how you're speaking about this is going to affect her. And really, that's not even an issue. Who cares, really, to tell you the truth? This is about where are the Christians? Stand up. Stand. I don't care if you're a strong, small Christian, strong Christian, just started been in the ministry for 60 years, 70 years. Where are you? This is a direct attack. Trust me, if somebody did a direct attack against any other religion, it would be taken seriously. But as usual, everybody's talking about it. It's the hot topic. It's trending. But, like, it's way deeper than that. What in the heck is going on? Where are the Clark sisters? Where is... Um, Joel Osteen, where is Oprah? Where is all, I mean, with these big, big, powerful people. Where do you think they are? Some will say that they're trembling right now because if he could fall, TD, Tyler Perry is already under, under fire right now with the whole Christian, what is his name, Christian Keys, or I might not be saying his name right. Like, what is going on? I know some people are gonna say, well, this is all prophesied. You shouldn't even be worried. You shouldn't even have... Okay, but we are still human. I'm heartbroken and devastated over this. Heartbroken and devastated. I'm not even joking. Like, it's like a domino. Once one goes down, a whole hundred of them could go down. It's like, if this is a lie, what else is a lie? I mean, this is somebody who has been a bishop for 50 years. For 50 years. 50 years. And you talking about, even if it's true, so what? I know y'all checking on me. I know y'all checking on me, and I'm fine. I'm fine. We're not checking on you. What does all this mean? Where? What is happening? You worried about yourself. I know y'all checking on me. We're not worried about you, sir. I'm sorry. 
We're worried about the rest of the Christian around the world that you are affecting. You have befriended somebody who is accused of grooming young men. You have other pastors speaking out about how they know that these young people are groomed by people of your stature. Grooming these young men, having sex with these young men in the pulpit. Touching young people. You you are you are friends. People are comparing you to Eddie Long and you talking about who was convicted of Oh my gosh. Abusing young boys. And you talking about I know you're checking on me. We're not checking on we want to know what is the truth. Then you wanna say, Oh, if it's the truth, all I gotta do is say sorry. No, bruh. In what what world do you only gotta say sorry? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Millions of people follow you. And even if it's true, all I got to say sorry. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Then you got your family behind you. I'm sorry to say, but they knew. Your wife knew, bro. Your daughter knew. Your family knew. Like, stop this. And I know a lot of people are scared to say because he's a very powerful person. Some people are even saying, I don't know if it's true. Oh, he got my video taken down off of YouTube. This video got taken down because I was talking about this and I was, I mean... He's very heavily connected. Please don't think he's not. Please don't think that he's not. If you're partying with Puffy and you're a whole bishop, you got that relaxed. He's heavily connected to everybody. So I'm sure everybody connected to him is either helping him behind the scenes, lawyer up and getting his PR together, or they're shaking in their boots because 2024 is about to be like, oh my God. This is a very big thing. This is a shake to the Christian community. You know, when it be this, people going to be saying, nobody's perfect. Yeah, but we're not a bishop speaking in front of millions of people and traveling around the world with this message. You know, speak out against the prophets. Do the prophets no harm. Okay, but we... This, they're talking about prophets with clean hands. They're not talking about prophets who are possibly grooming young men and taking and handling... Let me tell you something. People are coming forward saying, it happened to me, it happened to me, I was groomed, I was groomed, these bishops do this, when you drive for them, they attack you, when you're the water bearer, they attack you, when they come and they groom you, they do this, they... I mean, is anybody else watching this? This is a domino, of... this is just, my prayer is that something great comes out of this, my prayer is that all these people come forward and get healed, and just tell their story, and people listen to them and hear them for once. And they get healed and therapy. And, and, you know, this can, you know, I pray that somehow this really unites the Christians and really strengthens them. Because this is a hot mess. And this is just the beginning. So it's like any Christians, you have to grasp yourself and grape yourself. This is really serious. I know them old grandmas. They said people is leaving his church in droves. And, dro and he had the nerve to do an offering that night. Collect an offering. What are you collecting an offering on? I'm sorry. I'm just telling the truth. What are you collecting on? Bruh. These are serious allegations. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And for anybody who's just been under a rock, this is more than just taking a picture with Puffy. This is more than just being at his birthday party. This is being connected to someone right now who, he, how much did he, he just, Puffy settled for $30 million dollars. For abusing and beating up his, his, I can't even go into the puffy thing because it's just too much. He, bottom line, he's painted as a monster, and he settled thirty million dollars to say yes. I, you know what I mean? Like, come on, and you are sitting up here singing happy birthday to him, pictures with him, all these allegations. Oh my God, y'all need to either get on the internet and start looking up these videos and seeing what's really going on if you're a Christian. Or maybe you're one of these Christians that are just saying, oh, well, you know, you're not supposed to be following a man anyway. You're not supposed to. We know that. But let's be real. This world is still set up of leaders. I don't care what country, there's leaders, and he was a leader. So to just act like, well, you're not supposed to be following a man anyway. No. No, that's not how any of this works. That's not how any of this goes. What are you talking about? I'm saying this because, you know, 
I still consider myself young. I'm one of the young Christians. I mean, I'm older, of course. Because, it, I, you know, it's disheartening for those teens and 20s and people that are just coming to the Lord. You know, you got to think about that. Of course, I'm older, but I'm old enough to know that this man is powerful. And he, people look up to him around the world, around the globe. And his response was, I would have rather him had no response. That response was just horrible, disheartening. It's as if he's not taking this serious. He didn't care about all the millions of people that he has wronged and touched and all the people that would be going to the wayside because of this losing their Christianity. Or maybe he just doesn't care. Some people are actors, honey, and they've been acting for a long time. Maybe he just doesn't care. But honey, a lot of people are saying it's giving Eddie long, honey. But child, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? All right, bye. Whew.